Hello everyone. Today we will do a very interesting thing. We will test a homemade infrared soldering iron. Recently, this video appeared on my channel. In it, I described in detail and showed how to make such a homemade infrared soldering iron. By the way, this soldering iron works great. But some viewers of my channel claimed that after this soldering iron, the radio components become unusable because they are exposed to too high a temperature. And as a result, they can be thrown away. But is this really the case? We'll check it out today. If you are not subscribed to the Invex Lab channel yet, then click the subscribe button and start the experiment. To make the check as objective as possible, I will take a working device. I will unsolder some parts with an infrared soldering iron and then solder them back in. And let's see if this device will work in the same mode. To check, I will take this active column. By the way, in this video you can see how I made it. There I described in detail how to make such a useful thing almost out of garbage. I'm going to take it apart now and there are suitable parts on the power amplifier that I can unsolder out. I want to unsolder this chip out of the amplifier board. But before I unsolder it out, I will now turn it on and check it to make sure that everything is working perfectly now. So, everything works fine. The active column is working properly. Now I will unsolder this chip. And then I will solder it back and check whether it will continue to work. The process has started. The soldering iron is ready. Start. In just 5 to 10 seconds, I had the chip soldered out. Now it's time to solder it back. Something like this. Excellent. The chip is in place and now you can try to check this column. I will leave everything as it is for now, so that there are no unnecessary questions. Now I'll connect the speaker, and check it out. I just moved the board a little, because the clamp shorted the input. Fine. Everything works. Well, as you can see, the resoldering of the chip in this active column went without any problems. 
The active speaker works in its normal mode. There are two channels working. There were no problems with resoldering. Therefore, it is safe to say that such a homemade infrared soldering iron can be safely resoldered even such small FMD chips. I decided to test a homemade infrared soldering iron not only on the chip, but also on the LEDs. I will now unsolder a few LEDs from this LED strip, and then solder them back in. And let's see if they can withstand such a procedure. Will they work after that? I fixed the lead strip on the holder and now I will unsolder three leads. As you can see, the LEDs are very easily unsoldered using such an infrared soldering iron. Well, now the most interesting thing, I will solder them back. Now let's see if the LEDs work or not. For some reason, more than one LED is not lit. Well, that's the reason, one LED I just did not solder a little, did not warm up. And since they are connected in series, not a single LED worked. As you can see, all the LEDs that I rewired feel great and work just like all the others. This suggests that even such delicate radio components as LED can also be completely soldered with such a homemade infrared soldering iron. And LEDs perfectly tolerate such a procedure. So, with the help of such a homemade infrared soldering iron, you can easily solder various radio components, starting from microchips and SMD components, and ending with LEDs, as we have seen today. And this is taking into account the fact that I did not use the lower heating when soldering. With its help, it would be possible to do this even faster, but even using only such an infrared soldering iron, it was possible to solder both the chip and several LEDs without any difficulty. All components feel great after this procedure. This concludes the video. If you liked it, then put a like and write your comments about what you saw. I'll be happy to read them. Don't forget to subscribe to the Invex Lab channel so that you don't miss a new video. I thank you for watching and bye. I decided to test it. I even forgot what I wanted to test. Because they fail because of the high temperature. This is not yet a fact, we'll check it out today. And we'll see. And we'll see if there's an R.
There's an R. I will unsolder from there. Anything I can find.